Hey guys, it's Carrie here. Today I'll be trying out Project Blue. It's the Windows version of AstroPad. The beta is finally out, so I have it downloaded on here. And now let me install it on my laptop. And it's awesome because AstroPad has been the OG screen for ejecting app, but it's only been on max so it's finally coming to pc oh i can either connect via wi-fi or usb awesome all right guys it's working let's see if um apple pencil oh, it's it's working it's working let me zoom in and let me show you guys in one quick moment all right guys right now i have it mirroring my screen and it's working it's um through wi-fi um it's showing it a little bit pixelated on uh, let me open up clip paint studio um, maybe it has something to do with my Wi-Fi network. I'm also going to try it via USB. I have a USB Type-C to USB Type-C since my laptop only has USB Type-C ports. Let's see. Oh, look. Workspace. Oh, it has all these shortcuts on the side. That's pretty nice. Oh, the pressure works. There's some red lines that come in that I'm not used to yet. Let's see. Can I bring in the shortcut? Workspace undo does the undo work oh the undo works all right let me do a quick sketch oh no it's a little bit laggy i don't like uh the red lines that come in first let's see this looks promising i like the user interface so far let me open up photoshop this is completely wireless and it is pretty cool uh, let me see if there's a way for me to turn off oh line preview color okay i don't want that oh that's pretty cool show cursor yes pretty new and if some of you guys don't know about astropad it's basically like um easy canvas i talked about that app a lot on my channel this is the og version of this uh, of that app they're not from the same company but that's just the best way i can describe it astropad was some of the first that created um a drawing app like that on the ipad so let me see Okay, the pressure works. It's a little bit slow. Let me turn on back the, the preview thing. I guess I'll do cyan. All right, so the line does help a lot more in Photoshop. I don't know if you guys can see, but my lines are a lot slower on here. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't like this. Undo. The pressure works, but it's not as smooth as I want it to. I'm not sure if it's because I'm working on Wi-Fi. Alright, that's a little bit better. I just have to slow down my line. This is pretty cool. Let me go back on Clip Paint Studio and see. Um, let me undo all of that. Let me turn off foam. So far I like it, just my lines are a lot slower than I want them to be. Let me zoom in a lot more. Alright you guys, I'm zoomed in and you guys can see my strokes are a little bit slow. I'm not sure if it's because of the wireless mode. It's probably based off my Wi-Fi. Response time, 12 milliseconds. Mm, that's too, That's a little bit too high for me. So now let me plug in. Let me show you guys um, the stroke in Photoshop so that you guys can see. Okay, it's a lot better now. Okay, it used to be... Re no, see? Like when I go into it, it kind of lags right here. So I'm going to try it liked it now all right guys i'm gonna try to connect it via usb and see if that improves the latency and again right now this app is in beta let me close out of it and try it one more time all right let's go let me open okay maybe the regular maybe usb type c won't work maybe i need to get an adapter because it says standard usb connection so let me try that all right guys i'm back i have a usb type c to usb adapter that i'm gonna try all right i have it and it's not it's not it's not working through the usb and it's not working oh man all right let me try that one more time oh it disconnected i knew it nope not manual yeah it's still only connecting through the Wi-Fi and I don't want that. So let me try this on my PC to see if there's anything different. Maybe it's because there's an adapter and I'm not sure, but let's see. 
Alright guys, I have it installed on my PC. Let's hope that I can make it work through the USB. Bars, but it's nice that it gives me the option to do that. Um, and to just share just a specific area of my screen. So let me do full screen for now. Alright guys, I've zoomed in. I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi on my iPad just to show you that it's still connected through USB. I think the connection will be a lot better. I think it already is. Let me go back and let me make my um, pen stroke um, a little bit bigger. Let's see workspace. Let's see brush plus plus plus. Does that work? I think it does because I'm seeing it move up on there. So it's a lot more fast. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I know I'm just making lines and stuff. Actually, let me go back. Let me turn off the stroke. Now let me... Does it let me zoom in? Oh, it does have two finger to zoom. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Alright, now let me try to... Oh man, it's a lot more natural with USB connection. For some reason on my laptop, it wouldn't work. USB Type-C to adapters wouldn't work for some reason. I hope they fix that in the update. But for now, it's working. Let me try Photoshop, the main star app that we need to test this on since Club Paint Studio is already on the iPad. But this is also another way to bypass that subscription model, which is awesome. Let's see if the pressure works. Okay, so far the pressure is not working. Let me switch my brush maybe. Okay, so it's not working in Photoshop on my main computer, which is a bummer. Right now it's only working on Clip Paint Studio. That's weird. I guess that's what you get with like something right now in beta. Oh man, I don't know what to say. Alright guys, it's awesome. It works with Clip Paint Studio. Let me see if it'll work with Adobe Illustrator really quick, even though it doesn't work for Photoshop at all. Uh, let's just hope. Let's see if it's um, a thing with Adobe software or not. Uh, nope. Um, it's still giving me like a similar issue. I can't even make a line, so... For now, it doesn't work on Adobe product, but uh, this is just the beta, so let's hope. Let me try out one more app. Alright, I have Fire Alpaca open, and let's see if the pressure works on that one. Alright, so the pressure works in Fire Alpaca. Oh, wow. Let me... I'm, I don't really know how to use this program, so I'm just showing you guys how th if the pressure is working or not. Uh, and uh, let me try Paint Tool Sai. Alright, I have paint tool side open let's see if the pressure would work on that all right it looks like it's working in paint tool side um i'm not sure if the pressure is working the way i like to let me switch in a different brush oh no it is it is it is it's working perfectly oh i just don't like this brush i need to re-import my brushes in here but it's working in paint tool side guys oh man Sorry that I'm doing a bunch of weird squizzly. This is like how I do my line test by just doing random doodles to make sure it works before I invest my time and do a full illustration on this. Alright, I'm opening up Krita to see if it works on that as well. It looks like the pressure is working. I, I'm not sure how I feel about these lines. Like, they look so much better in Clip Paint Studio. In Clip Paint Studio, you can really see the pressures there compared to some of these other apps. Like Krita, even um, even Paint Tool Side. Ain't Paint Tool Side doesn't look that bad. I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. It's like, maybe it's the way I'm doing my lines. Um, I'll definitely be doing a full extended test and individual videos of full drawings on each program using project book when it fully comes out so for now it looks like it works uh let me try different brushes i i'm again i'm not too familiar with critters interface as well so let's move on to the next program all right we're going to be testing this out on gimp as well to see if the pressure works all right i uh i'm not sure if i can't tell if the pressure is working with this brush but it looks like uh i don't know i don't know i'll let you guys be the judge of that let me Oh, no, this brush just seems the same. Maybe if I lower the opacity or something. Um, again, GIMP is another one of those programs that I don't personally use. So I'm sorry if this test isn't super accurate. I'm going to be trying it on Medibang Paint. I know this is an app that's also 
already on the iPad, but I just wanted to test it out as well so that I could see if there's any discrepancy. Oh my god, see the pressure works so much better on like Medibang and so far Clip Paint Studio. Everything else I feel like doesn't give me weighted lines. Like they give me weighted lines, but they don't give me the pressure. If that makes sense. Like I get weighted lines and um, um no, I don't get. I don't feel like I get weighted lines. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. But I feel like I get much better lines in Medibang. But this is nice. Let's move on to the next app. Alright, I'm gonna be testing this out on Autodesk Sketchbook. This is the Windows Mobile version of the app, and um. It's also another app that's already natively on the iPad, but again, I like to use this app to really test out the pressure sensitivity, and again, it works, I feel like it works a lot better to compare it like Clip Paint Studio, Mighty Bank, um, Sketchbook, let me try another brush, um, let me try like a marker or something. Like yeah, I get, I get pressure, and I get weighted lines, oh man, for the most part, I do. So it works in the, the app version in Autodesk Sketchbook. This is how the desktop version of Autodesk Sketchbook looks like. Pretty similar interface. Let's see if it works. And it also works on this. So, so far... Oh, and now you guys can't even see. <laughs> Let me zoom in. Like, it works so nice on that. Pretty much no latency. Ah! So they just need to get this to work for Photoshop, the Adobe apps, and they'll be a win. Oh, man. This is so cool. Let me go back to some of the other one. It doesn't work with the Illustrator. I'm not even gonna try with that. This is how it looks with the Fire Alpaca. We get weighted lines, but no pressure. Let me go back. Maybe it's the brush settings that I have to go through with Paint Tool Sight. It might be the brush settings, but it works in Paint Tool Sight. Krita, it works. I feel like it's a similar issue with Paint Tool Sight. I probably have to play with the brush settings. So that may be that. And we have Gimp, Gimp, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what to say about Gimp, I, it's like, it's not an app that I use, but it seems like it works. And Medibang Paint, feels like it works the best. We get weighted line, we get the pressure, it works really nicely. Autodesk Sketchbook, perfect, both versions of the app. And Clip Paint Studio works like a charm. This app looks super promising. I can't wait till it works with the Adobe Suite because there's a lot of Photoshop is just nice for it to work on. But thankfully, a lot of my Photoshop brushes work in Clip Paint Studio. This is really nice right now. Ah, it looks so promising. I can't wait till it works with Illustrator and other vector programs. I don't know any other vector programs besides Adobe Illustrator, so I'm sorry. I just used a lot of different drawing apps. It's really cool that it works with Paint All Sai. So a lot of you guys out there. So that way you guys can see all of this in more detail and full test. I'm excited for the future of this app. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Anything I miss, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!